everyone, it's Hatsy and I'm back with another speed build in The Sims 4. Today we are going to be building a dream house. So if anyone remembers this series, <laughs> this is one of the series that I started a really long time ago and every now and then I go back to it. So it is a dream house series and it's where I choose Sims off the gallery and I make houses for them. So if you want me to make your Sims a house, then you just have to put the hashtag on the gallery, hashtag Hatsy Homes, and I will hopefully pick them. <laughs> well, I can only hope. So yeah, this was made for a family called the Robinson family, and they were made by Lottie Loftus. And the description is the Robinsons are a fairly normal family. Oh my goodness, I'm adding my own words. It's relatively normal family. <laughs> Michaela is a stay-at-home mum who loves taking care of Harley even if she's a little wild. Dion loves his girls and would work hard to provide for them. They want a two or three bedroom cottage for 90,000 simoleons with enough room for Harley's toys and an outdoor play area for her. Hashtag Hatsy Homes. So yeah, I really fell in love with this family. I thought it was so cute when I saw them and I really wanted to just create a house for them. And the house didn't even take me that long. It took me like an hour, probably. Yeah, maybe like an hour, if that, just to finish all of it. I was I was on a roll with this. <laughs> and then, do you know what happened? So I was really excited about just how little time I spent on this one. So I decided to then create another house straight after, because I was like, do you know what, I'm on a roll. If I can create something like this in an hour, then I'm just gonna like get loads of these out and then pre-record loads of stuff so I've got things to share if I decide to ever take a break again. <laughs> Cause that's what I'm doing now. That's what I've decided it's best. If I wanna go away for a couple of days, if I record loads of videos, get it sorted before I go, then hey, it's good. So yeah, anyway, I built this lakeside house or beach house rather and yeah it took me like three hours <laughs> so wasn't as quick as this one but that's another dream house which will be coming up i think the channel may have been pretty confusing recently because i think a lot of the builds that you see they'll go on the gallery like a couple of weeks before i share them or something and that's honestly because it's pre-recorded and also i like to get it on the gallery then you can use it you know whenever i decide to put the video out there but I think what a lot of people do is they put the houses on the gallery just before they're going to upload the video. Maybe I'll do that. I, I don't know. Like, I have no idea. But yeah, it's really petty stuff. <laughs> Let's be honest. I mean, why does it matter? Yeah, but... So what I decided for this house was to use the colours cream and blue. It looks very farmhouse-like. Honestly, it was as if I forgot what a cottage looks like altogether. I had a completely different vision for this house when I started it but I actually really like it and it's all really cute and weird and mismatched <laughs> I think it looks pretty good but I need to start remembering that if I'm gonna put like balconies or or what do you even call them just like downstairs balconies they're not balconies because a balcony would be on first floor upwards I reckon but decking, well decking areas with roofs and whatnot over it. Yeah, I need to remember to put doors there so that the Sims can actually access those areas. There's just one here that they can't access, but hey, what's a bit of that between friends? <laughs> so it's been a bit of a strange day and that is because some unfortunate stuff has unfortunately happened. Okay, so for those of you that don't know, my sister's getting married. I'm just gonna talk about this for a second because <laughs> this is what's on my mind at the moment, I swear. So my sister's getting married and she's having a few weddings, okay? Like, I don't understand it. I don't even think that she understands it. I think there's like two events. One's in Ibiza, one's in America. Yeah, very confusing. However, I ordered my bridesmaid's dress because Apparently I'm a bridesmaid, which I'm really excited about, to be fair. So I ordered this dress and it looks phenomenal on the website. And it arrives and I ordered the right size for me. I was really excited to see when it came and stuff and try it on. And as soon as it came, like I held it in my hands and I, I thought to myself, this doesn't feel like a size eight. <laughs> no. And I try it on and it is 
massive on me. Like, it must be three or four sizes bigger. I feel like I'm wearing a potato sack. <laughs> and I'm really confused because I don't know what happened. But yeah, so surprise, surprise, everybody else's dress is absolutely fine. Apart from mine. Of course it is. Of course. Because who else would this happen to? Who else would have the most unfortunate time with this? It would be me, wouldn't it? And I should have ordered it months ago because now I'm worried if I order another one, it may not it may not come in time. But I'm a worrier. You know, I, I worry about that kind of stuff. It probably will, but it will just be cutting it fine. Just like everything else, just exactly the way it happened with my wedding. It was all cutting it fine. I don't think the bridesmaid's dress had arrived until like two weeks to the wedding or something. It was just, it was crazy. But it was quite surprising because the place that the dress was from was actually from the same place as mine. So yeah, hopefully I'll be able to get it sorted. Anyway, on to the garden. <laughs> Changing the subject slightly. I wanted to have a little sand pit for the child. I thought that was so cute. And also there really isn't a lot for toddlers to do in the garden I don't think it's not like they can go on the monkey bars or anything like that yeah so it did say in the description that there's like an outdoor play area so I would assume it's something like that which I thought was pretty good but I would actually love swings or something for toddlers that would be so cute I've wanted swings for ages because I had a swing growing up and I never got off it that was the problem like, I think even up to when I was, what, 17? <laughs> no, I was, I was outside. I loved it. Don't judge me. That was my life. I would just switch off, listen to my music and swing. And that was it. And, you know, it was so relaxing. And I think I'd probably still do it now, you know. I think I would still go on a swing if there was one, but there isn't. And also, if I put a swing in my back garden it would probably look really odd because <laughs> there's like four or five houses overlooking my garden. So yeah, it would be a bit strange. And also there's this show home that is one of the houses that overlooks us. So you can just imagine, you know, innocent people looking out the window just with the, well, with Terry because she'd be showing them around. <laughs> so Terry would be there. And she'd say, oh, yeah, don't mind her in the back garden. She's just like swinging. I mean, it's just, it's not great, you know? It doesn't, it doesn't give the best impression of me. Like, I don't know. Just my opinion. Anyway, moving on to the inside of the house. So the inside was actually one of my favorite interiors that I've done for a while. And that was honestly because of how homely it looked. It just looked as if they've lived here for ages it's not like a dream house they've just moved into or anything like that it's got like history to it which i loved because yeah i just thought it was interesting so i tried to include just loads of kids items now the toddler will probably be too young for a lot of these items but i thought that they were still really cute it would have been really cool to get more items with parenthood for toddlers yeah we didn't get a lot of build items which i was surprised at because I haven't really, like, hands on heart, I haven't actually tried out Parenthood, like, gameplay-wise just yet. Like, I'm not much of a game player. I've tried to have a current household and all that, and I'm trying. I'm trying to get into the gameplay of The Sims. Sometimes it's hard, though, because I come up with these really elaborate stories, <laughs> and then even I can't keep up with them. So yeah, it's just, it's crazy. And sometimes that happens with my Let's Plays. Sometimes I will be thinking, okay, let's film a Let's Play today. And then I'll be thinking to myself, oh, hang on. I forgot the story. <laughs> now what do I do? Not great. I really should remember my own stuff. Or at least write it down properly in a way that I can remember it. I always used to write stuff down at school. But then because my handwriting was so messy i couldn't understand what i was even writing <laughs> yeah that wasn't a great time for me i have to say yeah anyway going on to the kitchen so i changed the tiles and i was really excited about them because i think that flooring is beautiful and it doesn't go with many sorts of interior but it goes with this one because it's like blue and orangey which is what i was going for 
I am in love with that fruit bowl, like absolutely in love with it. It's so modern and it's so nicely arranged. It's the kind of fruit bowl you get in a hotel. And I used to get one of those like every morning in South Africa. It was so nicely arranged, I could have cried. It was that good. <laughs> I loved it. Well, this happened as well. So in South Africa, we stayed at the Taj Hotel and they have this lounge there. And I, I don't know why we were in there. I think it was because my parents had this like special room or something. So it's a really nice lounge. And it's got all these like wooden frames up. I don't know how to explain it to you. You know, the sorts of the ones that you get change behind. I, I don't know what they're called though. They'd used them in the olden days. Yeah, they had all those in the lounge. So my sister stands up and she knocks them all down. <laughs> it was the loudest noise I think I've heard for a while. And it was very embarrassing. And I can't believe they didn't make us pay. Like, I can't believe they didn't. They were just like, no, it's fine. We'll sort it out, etc. And even then, my sister was stood there saying, it wasn't my fault. It wasn't me. <laughs> and it's just like, yeah, it was you. It was 100% you. <laughs> like, how can you blame the frames? They were still. You were moving. It was you. So yeah uh, but anyway moving on to the upstairs of the house i need to stop going off on tangents there's just so much i want to talk about during this build but i really like the upstairs i think that my favorite room is probably the kids room i did something really weird so bear with me because it's the strangest bedroom i think i've ever done but we're not there yet obviously we're just finishing off the hallway and i put a laundry basket there because it looked really realistic strange store actually so i bought <laughs> here we go again i bought two laundry baskets because i forgot that i originally had one and then like as i was putting the laundry into one of the baskets because i had two i then realized oh my goodness i also bought a laundry basket like three months before so i now have three laundry baskets <laughs> So I have a lot of space, a lot of storage. And you know, it's so funny as well, cause it's like, I was going for the same thing each time. All the laundry baskets look exactly the same. They're all like pop up and they have rope as a handle. And yeah, they're really cool. So <laughs> there we go. Anyway, going on to the kids room. So in here, I tried something really weird. So I've been looking at a lot of pictures recently of bedrooms. I always like to think about what I'd want my house to be like in the future. Like what I would want a family room to be like and a kid's room to be like. And I got obsessed with kid's rooms at one point because I was just like, I have so many ideas. So I tried to make it look as if the car was towing the bed and there's a road there. So I think if you know what it is, you'll be like, oh yeah, I get that. But if I didn't explain that then, you would have been like, what the heck is that? <laughs> it would have been really nice to have a wallpaper that's like neighborhood inspired and make it look as if the car is driving past. Anyway though, that is the end of the build. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see all future ones. Thanks so much for watching and I'll speak to you all soon.